This is an Ashley MX206. It's a stereo mixer. It has six channels. They can either be mic or line. It has a stereo line in with RCAs on the back. Main outputs. Also on the front, it has the phantom power indicator. And this is your headphone jack. Looking at the back, power, power on off, phantom power switch, main outputs left and right. Here's a mono output, and here is your RCA stereo line out, stereo line in. The inputs are all XLR. A minus 20 dB pad on the back on each one of the channels. So I'll quickly turn on the phantom power switch so you can see the light comes on when you need phantom power. I have a microphone plugged into channel 2 and a line input from a CD player going into channel 1. On the front, each channel has minus 20, minus 40, and minus 60. We'll start with the line input. I have the minus 20 dB pad turned on in the back. I'm going to take it off right now and you'll see what happens. Line level is pretty strong. So when you plug a line level into most utility mixers, you got to make sure you hit the pad, especially when you're using XLRs. So I'll turn this up. I have the outputs turned up a little bit. I'll turn this up a little bit and we'll see what we're getting over there. So on line inputs, you pretty much leave it in minus 20 and push the pad at minus 20 pad in in the back to get a decent signal. Now switching to the microphone I do not have the minus 20 pad in, but I'm going to turn this, turn the gain up, check, check, check. I'm going to move the pad over to 40, check, 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 that seems to be enough. Check 1, 2, check 1, 2, check 1, 2, check 1, 2. So that's pretty much it.